All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be doing the first of the Resident Evil 7 DLCs, extra content as it says up at the top of the screen. Uh, sorry if I sound different or if I have to stop talking to cough or sniffle. Uh, I did recently get COVID, it's very difficult to talk sometimes. Uh, I won't be talking as much in this video unless I can't help it and just have to fill the void. Uh, yeah guys, we're going to move on to the first of the three DLCs. I only really plan on doing the Chris's story, Not a Hero, and the End of Zoe DLCs. Those are the only story DLCs that actually happen, like the uh, Force Survivor in Resident Evil 2. Uh, the band footage is like what ifs, you play as uh, Clancy, the guy who's always in the videotapes, who getting tortured and had his friends killed who worked with the uh, show. Uh, but yeah, they're like what ifs, like if you, if you survived, if you escaped, if you escaped from one area, would you just get captured in another and have to escape there as well? That sort of thing. Uh, I don't plan on doing that, but if anyone at all comments on it, uh, saying they want it, then I'll happily go and back and do it. But today we're doing the Not A Hero Chris's Story. Uh, those of you who are fans of Resident Evil, uh, he's not in any of the games himself that I've played on my channel, because I'm only doing the modern Resident Evil games, at least as they stand at the moment, but Chris Redfield is a major part of the story. He's in Resident Evil 1, he might be in Resident Evil 0, or he might be referenced to Resident Evil 0, I'm not sure, I haven't played that one. Uh, he's in Resident Evil 5, he's in Resident Evil 6, you know, a lot of the Alba Wesker a lot of people know throughout the franchise, a lot of people know who Albert Wesker is. He is very heavily tied to Chris. Uh, Albert Wesker is like super powered, able to like teleport and use speed and tube strength and stuff. And Chris has to deal with him using some pretty insane like peak human feats. Everyone has the joke of him punching a boulder rather than just trying to push it. But yeah guys, we're gonna go on. Uh, oh. Oh, I want to go on normal, but it's also been a while and I'm sick. Uh, if we start on easy, if it is too easy, then we'll move on to normal. Okay. Lurking Fear. Chris Redfield is a high-profile BSAA member who has resolved many a bio... Oh, okay. I thought it would give us a chance. Apparently not. But yeah, guys, if you want to read that, you can go back and pause the video and read it. Is it ready? Can we begin? I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. Chris, did we lose him? No, no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well, considering. And Lucas Baker? Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. One thing that people criticised is uh, in Resident Evil 6, I believe, uh, it showed Chris was gradually getting older. In Resident Evil 8, we obviously see he's much older. You know, it's been a while since any of the previous games that he's like the titular character of. Uh, whereas in this one, he just randomly goes back like five, ten years. Uh, right. Oh, oh my 
aim certainly hasn't gotten better. Punch enemies from this dagger. How do I? I can literally just punch them. Uh, I'm quickly going to do something guys, I'll be right back. Oops, sorry about that guys, I was quickly checking the audio. Uh, obviously I can't uh, speak as loudly, because you know, I have COVID. So I was making sure my mic quality was the right, or a good enough volume for me to actually be heard over the video. Uh, right, where am I going? This way? Not this way. Nothing down here. No. Came from here, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so if we head up this way, this is where we just killed those two mold. Molded. Any idea what he's <coughs> up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E type mutamycete. Let's hope those men haven't become a part of those experiments. I believe that's also the first time that the phrase my seat is used. We just came from this one, didn't we? Why am I getting so confused? Hate caves. Alright, anything here? No? Okay. Just the thing that Ethan dropped down. Uh. Okay. This time there's no tripwires in order for us to get exploded by. Team. I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? That's not gonna happen. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Just be careful. Your oxygen tank is at fifty percent. I don't know why I was holding my breath during that bit. Uh, okay. <coughs> right, run. Right then, where are you? Come on, there you are. See that? Whatever your name is. That are we free? Yeah. Chris, we finished analyzing the data we intercepted from Lucas. It's like we thought the son of a bitch has been sending status reports on Evie to the connections. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure?
sure you just don't want to recruit them? Chris, we've been over this. Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. Sure, whatever. Uh, for those of you wondering if we're meant to be able to hear the people on the radio, I can't hear them very well over the background music and Chris speaking and stuff. So I'm going to assume that that's intended because we're like underground or whatever. Uh, you know, the volume is the same as it was on the normal game mode. So yeah. If you can't hear very well, then just know that neither can I. I think that's intended. Uh, okay. What's this? No clue. There's a save point. Storage chest. Okay. Um, we probably aren't going to use the knife. I can't store it. Okay. Maybe we will use it. Okay, instead of healing item, if we have med injectors. Uh, I suppose we can read these two documents here. For many of you, this is your first mission with us. We want to make sure it's clear what Umbrella is all about. Though many of our staff hail from the infamous pharmaceutical giant Umbrella, our purpose is to make amends for the atrocities perpetrated under the Umbrella name. That is why we reincorporated into a PMC in 2007. We will put a stop to not only anyone who's engineering or selling bioweapons, but those who support those efforts as well. We made a mess and now we've come to clean it up. Clean it up, sorry. By keeping the umbrella name, we show that we take responsibility for that mess and we want you to remember that you carry this responsibility with you in every mission. Okay, so that's them taking credit for Resident Evil 1 through 4, I think. And then this one, this is the operation. Primary mission, extract Lucas Baker, location, Baker Estate. We have to fight against the molded alpha variant and others. Okay, so there's different types of molded in this game mode. Uh, there'll be traps, lethal and non-lethal traps. Due to the lack of intelligence and the number of unknown factors involved, Chris Redfield of BSAA will act as a bioweapons specialist on missions. Uh, it's been moved from the Baker estate into the mines. Lucas Baker is a suspected associate of criminal investigation uh, organization, The Connections, if they aren't sure who they are, holds vital intel regarding its head organization. The Connections are a criminal organization producing bioweapons for sale on the international black market. Limited intel on size, market share and members. There are also prime suspects implicated in the production and distribution of the E-Series bioweapon. E-Series model Evelyn is present and active at the Baker estate. Lucas Baker seems to be monitoring her and reporting on her activities. Okay, so in the base game mode, we made, it was made it it made the game made it seem like Evelyn was controlling everyone, but perhaps Evelyn infected Lucas and Lucas was already working with the connections. And rather than Evelyn controlling Lucas, they just kind of worked together. But Lucas being Lucas just went insane as he was doing it anyway. I do hope you guys can hear me well enough. I don't like straining my voice at the moment. Right, where are we going? Here? Oh, I didn't think that would work. There's not a key or a button anywhere. Right, go, 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 go. Is there anything? Oh, I don't want to go down there yet. Let's see this soldier here. You okay in there? Redfield. Don't worry. I'm gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. Hey, okay, uh, guess we go down here to try and find the key.
I wonder when we'll be introduced to the new variants of enemies. I also wonder which side they come out, so if we do this. Okay. Well, it's at least good that there are that hallways and stuff, because that means we can at least kite enemies into them. Okay, key's over there, is it? Oh yeah, hello. It's about what I expected. Hunter. I like this new punch mechanic. You don't waste as much ammo if I keep this. Oh, hello. You seem taller. I know you're fine. Just the angle must have been standing out. Bam! Well, stand up. Come on. All them? No, of course it isn't. How do I miss? At least they can be one shot. Right, there's an item here. Yes, yeah, a med injector. We're in fine health. Oh, oh, okay. Shit. Shit indeed. How do we lower it? Uh, uh, oh, okay. Okay, we need a crank. Do we need a... Okay. That's the same clown face as downstairs, so I assume we need that for both those doors. Uh, how do you get ammo? Need gear. Is it gear what we need? I'm pretty sure that's just a. Oh. Oh, we need a gear and a crank. Okay. We're missing two things. We've just given it one of them. Neuro stun grenades. Crank there. Beautiful. I'm, I feel like the moment we do this, we're going to start getting attacked again. Do it. Come on, Chris. Yep. That sounds like a big one. Yeah. Big chubby fat dude there. So, Chris, we're going to do a called a pro gamer move. Please tell me what I'm looking at. Essentially, they are the pale heads from Resident Evil 2, except they're also the big enemies. The annoying ones to deal with. Are we going even further down now? Or are we... Oh no, this is the same cell. Cell key. I feel like this guy's about to explode on us. 
Everything's all right now. That's just what he wants you to think. I'm just a bait, and you fell for it. What? That sounds like explodey talk to me. Oh, okay. Oh, shit! Take the filter. I'm on rest. Hurry, or you'll die. Chris, you have a knife. Cut the ropes. Or what? Chris, I'm sorry. Hey Chris, we are very quickly dying here. Okay. So does that mean we're still able to breathe, Lucas. even in regular contaminated air? High grade filter. Okay. Don't have to worry about air in normal bits. I would have thought that a highly trained soldier would have ran in, quick scan for traps, seen that big thing above him that's about to cut his head off. I went, right, cut the ropes, get you out of here. Because even with the poison gas going on, you could have just dragged him over there. Would have been fine. Right, okay. Uh, we have one regular grenade. And one stun slash paralysis grenade. Okay. Oh. I can't wait to get my hands on that asshole. Just remember we need him alive, Chris. Yeah, oh, yeah. Where should we go? Green or blue? Let's go green. I like green. Green's my favorite color. Or at least it is at the moment. I thought I had something. Okay. Can we open this? <gasps> yeah, go on, Chris. <coughs> <coughs> and with us unlocking that door. Um, sorry to say guys that it has now been 22 minutes like with all the DLC episodes I do try to keep them a bit shorter so if you enjoyed the video please uh, like please like the video if you really liked it then please subscribe please excuse my voice and any background noises you heard of me coughing sniffling or anything like that you know I am sick uh, I am new to recording and I just try to make these videos to for people to enjoy if you don't personally enjoy it then that's more than fine if you want to leave a comment on how you think I could improve to make it more enjoyable, or if you just thought that it isn't for you, entirely fair enough. Uh, yeah, but yeah, if you want to leave a comment down below, uh, start a conversation, uh, say how I could improve, anything like that, please do. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day regardless, and thank you for watching guys. Goodbye.